Hello, hello guys. Uh, good morning, early morning. Uh, sa lahat ng mga nasa Asia, nasa Pilipinas, yung mga natutulog pa ngayon. Or yung mga kabayan natin na uh, ay uh, bumangon na ng maaga para mag-prepare para sa ating uh, opening para sa Philippine Stock Market Trading. So, pinabati ko kayong lahat uh, at uh, it's actually night time here, 9pm here in Budapest, Hungary. The weather is so fine. So far, so good. Uh, so, ngayon guys, uh, antayin muna natin na may mag-join sa ating next episode na naman ng uh, Usapang Trader. So, ngayon guys, ay... Uh, uh, Just like what I have uh, announced earlier, yung uh, tatalakayan natin ay about yung PSE. At saka ano nga ba yung magandang uh, strategy uh, in accordance to the, the according to the strategy that uh, you are using. Uh, either investing or trading strategy. So what is it for us? So, yan ang tatalakayan natin for this uh, session. So, it's uh, not so long one but uh, we will be tackling the most important uh, uh, topics here. Alright, so ayan, meron na join si Jolbert, nag-iisa, the very first one to join this uh, live session. So, for those na hindi naman makaka-join ngayon, ay, uh, pwede niyo mapanood yung... Uh, yung uh, recorded session nito sa aking YouTube channel and uh, I will be posting here my YouTube channel the link let me send it and uh, so that you will be able to somehow subscribe to my channel and uh, be updated for all the latest uh, videos that I am uploading over there so I will be posting it here and just uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. <coughs> All right, so again, uh, tatalakay natin ngayon ay about uh, PSC. At uh, kung makikita natin ay uh, talagang uh, what we have already uh, discussed in the past uh, uh, live session ay uh, meron tayong support uh, resistance. At uh, just to recall on what I have uh, said before, uh, it's a good good sign that the market was consolidating after it uh, dropped down to a certain uh, level up to 6,900. And uh, it was a good sign that it was consolidating and would be better also if it will be able to break out. But the problem now is that uh, nagkaroon ng breakdown. And that breakdown, uh, we will be able to know what is the net value ng stocks uh, during the trading day. So, okay, so, so far hindi siya nag-display ng net value. Anyway, let me check with another indicator ang balance volume. So, so bakit uh, nag-breakdown si, uh, si uh, PSCI? So, kung iplaplat natin yung resistance volume by an OBB indicator, we will be able to see na mayroon tayo dito ang support volume and resistance volume. So, since hindi na break out yung resistance volume na yan, Ibig sabihin na yung mga bull, bullish uh, investors or traders, the buying pressure here wasn't enough. Kaya na-reject pa rin. So the sellers are still uh, dominant here, more active, more powerful. That it has more pressure than the, than the buyers. That is why wala pa siyang gaanong uh, sapat na lakas or pressure to break this uh, volume out. So, kasi kung na-break out to, that would really lead to a rally of price. So, 
further uh, price uh, rally or further price increase that will lead the price to reach to the next resistance. However, balik tayo yung nangyari, the, 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 the price now is again breaking down from the support and in that case uh, we will be expecting PSEI to drop until uh, 6,970. So ayan yung possible na mangyayari. So of course uh, let's uh, try to look at the bigger picture para aninagan talaga natin. Ayan. So this is that support. This uh, uh, 7,000. Now drawing naman natin yung diagonal support. This that diagonal support. Uh, let me colorize it with blue in order for us to indicate that it is a uh, support, diagonal support. <coughs> Sorry. Now, kapag, uh, uh, sorry, bakit uh, lumarabas na ito? Okay. Ngayon, kapag hindi pa rin nag-bounce at this level, expect uh, at this uh, diagonal support, expect that we will uh, have uh, ESEI drop up to the previous uh, dropping point. And kapag hindi pa rin niya nag-drop, uh, nag-bounce, uh, sorry, then that is really not a good sign for PSEI kasi it will find the next support. In the, if uh, this is a broken, kita niyo naman, that is the trend, uptrend. We really need to have a PSEI break, uh, bounce here or either here in the previous uh, bouncing point. Kasi pag hindi, we will be totally be in a, a much, much down, uh, downtrend market. So, ano ba yung, yung uh, magandang approach dito kung, kung ganon? So, basically, we have uh, two main groups of people who are uh, trading the market or investing the market, the investors and the traders. So what I will tell you now is uh, from an investor's point of view. So masasabi ko lang from an investor point of view, kung ganito yung uh, behavior ng PSEI, it means, you know, PSEI as we recall, that, uh, it is uh, representing the, the index of the Philippine market. And uh, it consists of... Uh, usually blue chip stocks and uh, usually those big market large market caps market capital so nandito yung mga malalaking companies with big market cap like uh, Ayala Land uh, uh, BPI BDO Cebu Pacific uh, San Miguel Corporation so ito yung mga naglalakihang mga companies na nag uh, composed ng PSEI. So the bigger the market cap is, the bigger is the effect to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. <clears throat> Mapapansin nyo naman na kapag uh, drop itong, uh, down itong si PSEI, ganun din yung nangyayari sa mga big caps nito like Ali and like other uh, companies. Ayala na na yung mga na-mention ko sa inyo. So as an investor, Ano ba yung maganda dito? So, pag sinabi kong investor is either you are a mid-term investor or a long-term investor. For me, mid-term investing means for me that uh, I, I am uh, willing to hold my stock minimum three months up to one year. So, it, it is more or less like uh, position trading. But uh, I don't call it trading kasi... I am uh, considering here the fundamentals. So I don't trade here uh, companies, stocks without attractive fundamentals. So, and the next uh, consideration here is uh, technical analysis. So that is midterm uh, investing. So, so, and long term naman is uh, I, I am willing to hold my stock minimum one year. Uh, up to five years. So, 
ayan so for mid term investing ang masasabi ko lang is that i would be avoiding uh, those uh, blue chip stocks up to now but of course it depends on what is your situation now are you an, a mid term investor who has uh, bought the stock at a uh, higher uh, prices when the pse was at 8000 so maybe you will have a different uh, approach here so in that case kapag medyo mataas pa yung average price natin for the stock and you are a mid term investor or even a long term investor as well valid din yung sinasabi ko ang masasabi ko lang dito ay uh, firstly we need to avoid buying now uh, buying the blue chips at the moment while yung uh, pse is still trying to find the next support so klaro naman dito sa chart di ba na <clears throat> it is trying to find the the support so it's either uh, you know yung ano Aro, ah. Okay, it's either it's either uh, it's going to bounce here, or if it is that if it if it doesn't bounce there, then look for a bounce here. Now, when you see the bounce, you need to check volume. I say you need to check volume here, just like this. And see, mataas na volume like this, mataas na volume. You need to see a significant amount of volume for us to be convinced that the bounce is uh, sustainable. <clears throat> Kasi pag uh, konti lang yung volume, it can happen that uh, the bounce will uh, will will uh, is is just temporary and might. Uh, again uh, uh, or later on uh, make another breakdown which is not good for us so firstly we need to see the bounce at the this uh, uh, critical points the diagonal support or the horizontal support before making a buy so let's say uh, mataas yung average price no and since you are an, you are investing uh, and and uh, and it's good to accumulate while the prices of the stocks are, are getting lower so we are buying the stock at a cheaper price but uh, but you need to know again that if you are doing mid-term or long-term investing you need to know that uh, what is really the status of the company fundamentally so that is the very very first information that you need to have Without that, it's hard to decide whether, uh, I mean, it's it's not uh, okay to, to do investing. So it's like a blind, uh, it's actually blind trading in that case. It's not anymore investing. All right, so again, wait for the price to bounce at this uh, uh, crucial level here or here before making a buy. Kasi pag hindi yan nag-bounce, it can happen that the breakdown will still continue and for an investor it is better for us to buy at a much lower so only buy when there is a bounce at the critical support or uh, for those conservative buyers naman uh, we wait for uh, for a uh, you know significant uh, reversal signals what is that? So, uh, for instance, if we are using uh, EMA50, which can be a basis of us uh, for us to, to enter the market, or it is already in a good uh, uh, position or not. So, for instance, this one, the candlesticks are now below the EMA50, and uh, if you can, if you check this historically. Uh, when when uh, the price is uh, dropping below the uh, EMA 50, it is uh, followed by a, a, a long uh, downtrend or a, or a long drop or a significant drop of price down downward. And if it is uh, climbing up above the EMA 50, you can see that it is really 
uh, creating a significant rally upwards. So EMA 50 is a very, very important indicator. For me, this indicator is dividing uh, the two groups or dividing the sentiments between bulls and the bear, bears. I say this is uh, this is uh, the EMA which is averaging all all the uh, or all the two groups, the investors and the traders. So if you put that average in the middle, you will be able to divide them into two. So if the price is uh, below that, then it can uh, imply or it can show to us that the bears are uh, more active. If it is above, then the bulls are more active than the bears. So as you can see, dito sa ating chart ngayon, the price is just below EMA 50 and might go farther lower either here or here. So again, look for a bounce for uh, accumulating. Say we are doing mid-term investing and long-term investing. We want to accumulate, right? So, ayan. So for a trader mindset now, and of course, uh, I would be uh, avoiding uh, these uh, stocks right now, which are uh, belonging to the PSE, uh, PSEI, the components of PSEI. So, di ba, hindi naman lahat ng stocks sa stock market are, uh, are members of the PSEI or one of the components of PSEI. So, hindi lahat yun. So, I would be avoiding those if I am a trader. So, if I am a trader, it means for me that uh, you might be doing day trading, swing trading, or uh, momentum trading. So these stocks are not the good candidates for that. So I would be looking for other stocks like uh, those uh, right now, which is very, very trending, like uh, food, BUL, ano pa, PXP, maganon. So this is for the traders. But for investors, stick to your plan. Uh, there are uh, reasons, uh, uh, there might be personal reasons why you want to become an investor and there are personal reasons why you want, you want to become a trader. It's up to you. So, but uh, what I can say is that just stick to your plan. Even if uh, you see that the market is uh, going down, breaking the support, it should not be uh, creating a panic on ourselves that, Hala, paano na yung ano, investment eh, pababa sa ano, PSEI. Remember guys, historically, every uh, every time uh, PSEI is dipping, as you can see from the chart alone, so di ba, may katagat tayo na history repeats itself. So makikita mo yan sa PSEI. PSEI is basically a resilient market. Despite even even during the market crisis, uh, 2008, the housing crisis in America, which causes a global uh, market crisis, PSEI is still able to, to rise up from there. So, ano pa kaya, di ba? Right now, we are actually looking at a cheaper market. But uh, remember that when we say cheap, it doesn't mean that it's already good to buy because it might become more cheaper. So, you miss out mo ngayon yung opportunity to buy at a lower price. Instead, you should be looking for a bounce or indications that the signals are already uh, or the trend are already reversing. And you will, uh, one, one thing to, to do that is just check out what happened in the past. How did you how did we say that it was reversing, right? And one 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 way na to 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 determine that is that the crossing of EMA fifty. But remember that if you are waiting for price to cross EMA fifty, malayo na yung uh, rally na inano na uh, malayo na yung price. So for instance, from from this point to the EMA fifty. The price already rallied first with 10.4% before it could cross the uh, 
BMA VST. So our goal is uh, how we can enter the market at a, an earlier phase without waiting for EMA 15. So for midterm investing, for long-term investing, the good, good way is really just to accumulate at significant uh, support areas. We cannot really uh, accurately say that this is already the final support and the, the stock now is already finally going to move higher. It depends on many factors economically. For example, now in Philippines, we have this uh, inflation-related thing. And then we still have this uh, uh, US-China trade war, uh, which might be actually uh, affecting other markets. Actually, it's already affecting. But what I mean here is that uh, there is a news that the uh, US is not only targeting China for tariffs, but other Asian countries as well. And it means that it, it also includes us. So we will be affected as well. So this issue about trade war is, uh, is globally. But what I can say is that, uh, you know, in the stock market, there are always uh, mumbo jumbo reasons why the stock market is going down. But at the end of the day, all of all this uh, news or, 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 or yeah, this uh, hot issues will fade, then optimism will rise. So, kaya nga, uh, ngayon pa lang, uh, I would be looking for a good, great opportunities while this market is uh, uh, cheaper, uh, I mean, relatively cheap. Alright, so before we continue, ay abatiin muna natin yung mga nanonood ngayon. Nagsaga talaga na magantay para abangan itong ating live uh, na ano, usapang trader. Live, broadcasting live ako ngayon ha, from Budapest. So kung nasaan ka man ngayon, uh, kabayan ay uh, binabati kita. And I hope that you are doing good wherever you are from uh, Australia, Europe, oh, Asia. Mga kababayan natin, marami tayong mga kababayan dyan sa Saudi Arabia, uh, Dubai, Qatar, Doha. Oh, yeah, Doha, capital ng Qatar. Uh, Kuwait, kung saan pa man. Sa, saan panig ng degdig? Sa US man. Ano? Basta binabati kita at uh, I am very glad, I am very proud that you are all uh, already uh, engaged in the market. So, yeah, so basically, guys, I am also uh, not only engaged in the uh, Philippine market, but I am also uh, very active in the U.S. stock market as well. So, in fact, today uh, I am very happy because I have just uh, got my, uh, my uh, new and proper platform and medyo inaaral ko pa siya na and uh, I, I'm one to get familiar with the platform because medyo ba bago ako sa platform na to. So, dati rate ay ginagamit ko ay yung broker namin dito na local lang sa aming lugar at uh, naisipan kong magbago ng broker kasi napakamahal ng ano broker fee. Talagang ano uh, yun ang kumakain sa aking profits. So, I have chosen an ano, interactive broker. So, ngayon naman, yung mga kababayan natin dyan na gusto magpaturo about uh, or, or magpamentor about U.S. market, I am also open for mentorship for U.S. stock market. And, uh, and uh, let me know if you want my help and I will be guiding you uh, step by step and including also about uh, how to analyze, how to, how to filter out uh, great stocks for trading according to your investment horizon. So I'm not only doing it for U.S. market, but for those Filipinos also, mga kababayan natin na gusto mag-mentor din sa akin about Philippine market. So let me know. Alright, so ngayon ay dun, nasabi ko na yung mga uh, dapat natin gawin according to your investment horizon either you are an investor or you are a trader so take that as a good opportunity 
uh, right now that we have a market which is uh, giving us this uh, uh, relatively cheaper price. So ayun, uh, tingnan muna natin yung uh, yung ano natin. Uh, ano nga ba yung mga hot stocks ngayon? Yung trending na stocks sa ating market. Ayun, so pula. <laughs> trending tayo sa pagkakapula. So biggest loser uh sa previous trading is TBGI so, yung isang telco telco ano player natin or third telco candidate aspiring so marami oh talagang pupula mahaba yung listahan natin ng pagkapula pero despite of being red sino ba yung mga winners yung bang uh, resist resistive sa mga sa sell off so ano ba yun OV, IPO. Ito, hindi ito mga kilala. Uh, yung, iba, uh, yung iba sa kanila, ngayon ko lang na, ano, na <laughs> nalaman na mayroon parang ganong stock. Pero itong VUL, PRMX, yes, uh, they are known. FGEN, okay. FGEN, by the way, is one of my recommended stock for this week. Pero tingnan mo naman, despite of, uh, of uh, having red days, we have here a good stock which was red so what does it mean for us it means that we are choosing a good stock so again guys i am advertising my uh, weekly stock updates and uh, in the in my weekly stock updates, i am advertising i mean posting analysis of uh, good stocks that uh, is good for buying or investing or trading in the philippine stock market and it uh, has uh, various uh, kinds of stocks. May mga stocks na pwedeng pang momentum, pwedeng pang swing trade, pwedeng uh, uh, mid-term investing, and uh, long-term investing. So marami sa mga kababayan natin nagsasubscribe na gusto, gusto nila yung, ano, yung swing trade. Mga pang-trade talaga na stock. Yung hindi ka mag-aantay ng matagal. So one of those na sinarecommend ko was FGEN. Nakahanap ako ng uh, magandang setup dito. And uh, for me, it was a good uh, swing trade and mid-term stock. Alright, so ayan. Yan ang uh, situation natin sa market natin ngayon. And kumustahin naman natin yung IRC at saka IDC. Kasi hanggang ngayon ay nakahold pa rin ako nito. So, ayan. Okay, ano muna natin dito? IRC. IRC. So, ayan. IRC is just holding. This is a very good uh, uh, support area as long as uh, this uh, support 2.27 to 2.32 is holding. I think uh, may pag-asa pa itong sa IRC. And why is it that I'm telling it to you? Uh, this is still okay. I I simply plot the EMA 10. Ang gat uh, nasa above EMA 10 yung ating uh, price candle. I would say that that is still fine. See? Tingnan mo naman yung uh, historical niya, di ba? It's just uh, surfing on the waves. So, ayan. So, IDC din. Ano ba yung situation ni IDC? Ayan. So, every time uh, na-hit na yung EMA 10, nagpa-pounce. Ayan. And tomorrow, this is a very, very good uh, uh, candle for momentum trade. Ayan ko, uh, I think some of you are already familiar with momentum trade. Uh, ganito, ito yung tinatawag na post day. Kapag nalagpasan yung higher high niya, I mean yung highs ng candle, ng previous candle, it's a buy signal. So there are also other ways to enter in the market. Uh, but this is the way how I, how I am handling such uh, stock. So IDC, abangan nyo bukas guys. But we need uh, we need to have a significant volume. Say the yesterday's volume was quite low. 
O net value. Ano ba yung net value kahapon? Ito, it is only uh, 12 million. So, kailangan natin mga 40 million above para maging uh, uh, significant move yung ano natin uh, price tomorrow. So, we will see. We cannot really predict that when uh, are these uh, institutional buyers are coming in to the market. <clears throat> so, what about yung now? Ano ba yung trending itong mga, pero yung now, tingnan nyo naman, no? Actually, actually, yung now, uh, na-breakdown niya yung support, yung main support talaga, which is really very, very bad ito. Yung ma-breakdown niya itong 8.0, Nag-drop, nag-bounce, but hindi niya nag-break out. Then, patuloy yung pagpagsak. So, ngayon naman, yung now, yung babantayan natin is this. This is the next support. Kapag uh, hindi yan nag-bounce dyan, it can happen that uh, the price can well, well still uh, move down. So, tra for trading, I would not trade this, but if you want to to speculate uh, and bet for now as a third telco, then you may do it, but uh, see to it that uh, uh, you wait till this uh, price is bouncing off from this support uh, 6.9. Beyond that, pag mag breakdown, I would avoid this stuff. So, ano pa? Um, pa yung mga trending dito. Tingnan ko muna. A BUL pala BUL. Alright. So, BUL, as you can see, above AMA 10. That is good. But, uh, problema ko lang dito kay BUL. Kasi, down pa yung ano niya, volume. Yung bang, uh, dito kasi, dito nag uh, umaasap yung mga malaking volume dito na uh, this uh, here that's the volume dito nag break out yung price but the volume stays uh, almost the same level as here but after that volume started to decline but the price is still going up so moving up yung price volume is decreasing it's like a uh, uh, divergence. So, I I am hesitating to enter a uh, trade for the US because it has a divergence and the volume is decreasing. Price is rallying. It, it indicates for me that sooner or later this trend will will reverse. So, that's why I'm hesitated to, to, to enter trade for the US. Kasi kung titingnan naman, kung baba yung IRC, no? Tingnan nyo naman yung uh, volume. Pag price is, uh, is rallying, volume should be increasing. It's, it's for me, it's, it's, uh, it's very logical. Diba? So, ito. From here. Increasing. But now, my sell-off, that is very normal. Malaki yung volume ng sell-off. But, this amount of volume is still above what has, uh, I mean, the volume. So it's still okay, and the price is still sitting above EMA. So of course, uh, be below EMA, then uh, I would not be holding. I I say I will be out of the game. All right. So I am. So marami yon mga nag join sa atin yon. I am very glad on that. So by the way, yeah. So yung mga hindi naman nakapanood nito, yung mga live session ko sa usapang trader. I ina-upload ko to dito sa aking YouTube channel at mangyari lang ay paki-like na lang ang subscribe para ma-notify ma notify kayo pag mayroong uh, mga new videos na ina-upload ako dito. Alright, so kasi in the future, I will be going live in this channel also. So don't miss to subscribe on this channel, this YouTube channel of mine. So, salamat sa mga nakinig sa atin ngayon. Batiin ko lang yung mga kabayan natin. Oliver, Willie, yung mga talagang mga nag-aabang talaga sila nito. Uh, mga familiar na ano na mga joiners. Yung talagang sinusubaybayan nila talaga yung aking ano.
programa Usapang Trader. So, <laughs> I'm very glad and uh, hello, hello sa inyong lahat dyan. Bobet, Justo, Rodel, Emil, Mirasol, good evening sa iyo, uh, Madam Mirasol, Ami, Noel, Toping, Janeline, Kati, hello po, Ma'am Kati. Uh, ito si Ma'am Kati. I'm very glad you say they will be coming here to Budapest to to learn stock uh, investing and trading from me, huh? from me. So they are coming all the way from Netherlands together with other mga kababayan. So, talagang sinadya nilang, mag, uh, gusto nilang pumunta talaga dito. And I'm very, very glad about that. And of course, may kasama na rin ano dyan. So, tour guide na rin ako at saka stock mentor. <laughs> so, itutor ko sila sa Budapest. Then, uh, at the same time, I, we will be talking about stock market. So, ayan, malalaman nila yung mga secret uh, trading uh, tactics ko na ginagamit in both Philippine and US market. So, hello po sa inyong kati at paki-regards na rin sa mga kababayan natin dyan sa Netherlands. Edwin, Aldrin, uh, Ryan. So, ayan mga kababayan natin. Uh, Subaybay lang kayo sa aking page. Uh, please follow me kasi parang nagiging hobby ko na rin yung paglalive. Dahil masaya ako at uh, talagang may nagsusubaybay ng mga kababayan natin. Or, oh, Tam Tam, nag-join pala si Tam Tam from USA. Hello, Tam Tam. Uh, I hope you are doing fine. See, Tam Tam is one of my students in my mentorship before, one year ago. I hope you are doing well with your trades. All right, so God bless in yung lahat and uh, till next time. Uh, this is your Stockman Tornil signing off.